When you first open 3DS Max, you will see this welcome screen. And there is a one minute startup movies and some links to learning resources. You'll want to go to the next page. If you go to start here, this will show you a list of the most recent files. And also, this is where you can set your project folder. A project folder in 3DS Max is a special series of folders that are designed to hold specific types of files. For example, there's a scenes folder that stores 3DS Max scene files or .max files that hold your models and animation. But there's also folders such as scene assets images that store files that are applied onto surfaces. So images like a PNG or a TIFF file are stored separately. They're not encapsulated inside your .max scene. So there need to be links between all these different file types. And the project folder is the method whereby all those links are preserved. Using project folders in a big 3D program like 3ds Max is not optional. You have to do it. If you don't observe the proper procedures with your projects, then you're going to have major problems. The least of which is broken links to textures. The worst of which could be total loss of your data. So you don't want any of these bad things to happen. So make sure that you always set your project. You need to know what your project folder is and set it accordingly if necessary. Currently, I just have the default project here. So when you first install the program, a folder is created in the current user's documents 3ds Max. And I can set the project from here, but I can also do it in the main 3ds Max interface. Let's do it there. I'll close this welcome screen window. And up on the upper left, there is a button here that's for the project folder. So this is how you set your project. Click on that button. And within this dialog, you can either create a new project or point to an existing one. So you need to do either one of these. If you want to create a new project, that would be appropriate if you do not have the exercise files for the course. You could store all the files that you create for the course in the default 3ds Max, or you could create a new project folder. And you probably want to create a new one because that default project is kind of a sandbox for just storing default stuff. So I would recommend making a new folder. Now the process for that within this dialog is a little bit convoluted. What you'll do is click make new folder. Just make sure you select the root above where you want to make your new folder and then click make new folder and give it a name. And we can call this one 3DS Max 2015 Essential Training or ESST. And when I press enter, it doesn't actually take in this folder field here. So this is the weird part. You have to click off of that and click back on it so that the name of the folder you just created is listed here. Or you could just have used Windows Explorer to create that folder in advance and then just come in here and point to it. But just make sure that it's a brand new folder with nothing in it. Okay, so click OK. And now that's my current project folder. And if I try to load a scene, I will be taken to that location. And if I try to save a scene, I'll be taken to that location. So if we go to the application menu here and choose open, it takes me to users Aaron F. Ross documents 3ds Max 2015 scenes, but it's currently empty. Okay, so that's creating a new project folder from scratch. If you already have one, then you simply want to point to it or set that project. And ironically, you use the same command to do that. So in 3ds Max, this button or that link we saw on the welcome screen both take us to this same window in which we can either create or set to an existing project. My project is on my desktop. So I can go to desktop and here it is, exercise files. It already exists. Make sure you select the top level of exercise files or whatever project you're trying to set to. Because 3ds Max has a sort of detective algorithm that it uses. It looks inside the folder that you choose. And if it sees these subfolders, then it will know that a project already exists and it will simply set to that project or point to it. But if you select another folder in which there are no special 3ds Max project folders, then a new set of project folders will be created. So for example, if you click on archives here and click OK, 3ds Max will look inside of archives, see that there's nothing there, and create another whole set of project folders in there with all these same names. 
So that's a really bad thing to happen because you're going to have a project folder nested inside another one. And I've actually seen cases with students where they had done this repeatedly in which there were, and I'm not joking, literally 10 project folders nested inside one another. So just make sure you're selecting the top level of your existing project folder and then click OK. And now 3ds Max is pointed to that project. And when you go to the file menu, open, you're taken to exercise file scenes. And you can go ahead and load one of these scenes. Okay, so that's how you manage creating and setting project folders in 3ds Max.